Hi, this is uh, just a quick video to show how we are doing um, lifecycle analysis within Archicad. Um, I'm going to show you just a quick overview. I'm going to try and keep this to about a minute or two, might go over. But this is a project, it's a 48 unit apartment uh, building in Barrie, Ontario that we're working on. It's at schematic design. It's basically one, two, three, four stories above grade plus a parkade uh, that's kind of above grade. And um, we're, we've gone through some planning. This is in a neighborhood that is kind of transitioning to a higher density. Uh, it's currently a residential street that's got mostly commercial buildings along it. And uh, what we do basically is we, the first thing we, we generally do across projects is compare the kind of assemblies that we're gonna be using. So for example, here is a uh, concrete slab. This is a section through the slab with insulation and gravel below and then earth. Um, and we have a little label tool uh, that the team at Enzyme has built that will, um, basically we can apply that label to any little snippet of uh, construction assembly. This is a composite and it will tell us what the global warming potential is for the scope A1 uh, through A3 emissions uh, for a given material. So if I click on this label, um, I can see, well, I can, I can show either global warming potential of the various components in the label or the thermal uh, U value, uh, either resistance or U value, or the embodied energy. Um, so we have made a little diagram with all of these assemblies where we're showing embodied energy, embodied carbon, uh, and the U value. So then we can kind of summarize that in this little table on the right, where we can see this is a floor material. It has a GWP of 48, and it's costing 268 bucks per square meter of that uh, material. So if I go over here, I can see when we are considering a core slab floor, we've got the core slab concrete here. Of course, I'm not showing the voids yet, but we can do that as our level of detail increases. Um, but the carbon graph just kind of jumps right off the page because um, precast concrete has a higher cement content and therefore a lot of embodied carbon at the moment. So that's uh, in the mix and we need to look at that. So the GWP of this element is 176 and 268 bucks a square meter. And then we can kind of go over a few items and we can go, well, what if we did the floor in a nail laminated timber? And um, we uh, can see that it's about the same price, $268, but our global warming uh, potential has gone down to 91. Uh, and then it still includes a concrete topping slab. So that's a fair bit of, of the carbon component in there. And so any of these values, where, where do those reside in Archicad? I can uh, kind of alt click on the, um, component, right, which will open up the composite dialog. And then we can see, uh, I want to look at the NLT. Here's our NLT over garages. Um, and we've got the concrete material there, concrete topping with radiant pecs. And then we've got uh, some membranes and we've got uh, the NLT is represented by a category called glue lamb column. It's more or less going to be the same embodied carbon. So what does that look like in the material dialog? Uh, we can jump over here to options and then go to uh, building materials, right? And then we can see all the things that are um, within that uh, particular assembly. Whoops, that didn't work. Let me try that again. Alt click that and then go to materials. And these should light up. Well, they're not, they're not anyways. Um, oh yeah, so there they are. So here on the wood glue lamb column, which is representing our uh, nail limited timber, we can see that if we look at uh, the design LCA values, those are from a different um, API that uh, Design LCA uh, Grafisoft Denmark has made. But we can look at the core values that are right within Archicad uh, and make sure that those are more or less the same value, right? So uh, the Design LCA, we've got 36. Um, 0.36 kilograms of CO2 equivalent per kilogram of material. And then based on the density of the material at 500 uh, kilograms per meter cubed, um, it will uh, generate uh, a, a global warming potential value for that thickness of material, which in this case is 254 millimeters. And then the cost tracks with that as well. So this is from um, ContraBIM's costing methodology. So for, uh, we basically have a whole catalog um, of all the different building assemblies, and then I can hot, hot swap any of those assemblies into the building model. So let's go to the, the camera that we've set up here for this uh, file. So I open the 3D window, it's updating that. And what I wanna account for um, is represented in this view. So I'm, I basically made a layer combination called embodied carbon. And it shuts off everything that's uh, annotation or 2D information, and it's turned on everything within the scope 
uh, that I want to account for, uh, and that shuts off any site-related elements. I don't want to see trees and landscaping and massing of the neighboring buildings and all the rest of that kind of stuff. So when I do that, then I can run a schedule of all the materials, and we have made a schedule called everything. Where the heck is it? Um, the quick way to go to it is go to the sheet. So here's our um, cover sheet, and I'm just going to go to our um, A1 to 3 scope emissions page, right? So this is in the layout book. And in this, um, I've got a manual summary of the calculations that all come from the totals. And we've just run a schedule called the everything schedule, right? So everything that is placed as an element within that layer combination gets pulled into one schedule. So it just did the carbon analysis for the whole project. And the way it works is I've got a layer combination called embodied carbon. I tell it to look for everything that's in, on the embodied carbon layer combination that is new construction and that is above the story minus two. So that will include minus one, which is the foundation and all the stories above. And then the schedule gets the name of the building material, the story that it's on, the uh, ID that it has, the component uh, metrics, the mass of the thing, the embodied energy and the embodied carbon. And the embodied carbon that is within the building material schedule for um, ARCHICAD comes from an XML file that resides externally uh, to, to uh, ARCHICAD and it pulls all those values uh, from there. Um, so I can see that for gypsum board, we're looking at uh, 6,000 uh, kilograms of carbon or six tons of carbon dioxide just for the gypsum that I'm showing. Now I haven't fully fleshed out the interiors on this project. When I've got interior partitions for the whole project, that'll be like 100 times that value. But right now I'm in LOD like 150, so I'm not really accounting for anything but the core materials in the project. So the grand total then is at the bottom. And the, the reason that is totaling is because I've told it sum everything and sort it by ascending uh, value, right? So here I can see I've got 1,000, uh, sorry, it's a million 200,009 kilograms of uh, carbon dioxide divided by three zeros and we've got uh, 1,209 um, tons of carbon. Then I take that number and I divide it by the area, which we get from a table, right? So we've got zones in this project, and we can see that we've got like 4,075 square meters. I'm not going to include the parkade, uh, the below grade stuff right now. Um, and so then I can just do a manual calculation saying, well, 1209 is my total in tons. Gross construction area is 4075 uh, square meters of uh, of gross, so to the outside face of the walls. And then I divide... Uh, 1209 by 4075 and I get 297.297 metric tons of CO2e per square meters which translates to 297 kilograms of CO2e per meter square and then I've got a little index here that goes well what values are normal or what am I looking at stick frame would be 100 kilograms heavy timber is 200 kilograms steel frame 500 kilograms concrete frame 600 kilograms of square meters. So those are my metrics. I want to be in the green zone or the heavy timber zone under 200. I can see already with my building in LOD 150 that I'm at 297. So the next step will then be to swap out all of these um, components. Let's look at a section. Um, go to uh, any section here, 44. If I swap out all my floor decks uh, from the precast um, core slabs and the shear walls to uh, some kind of uh, glue lamb element um, and convert this whole building to mass timber, my numbers would probably drop uh, to about half of what they currently are. So that's the goal of what we're doing. And that's how we do a quick LCA analysis automatically from within our keycap. Bear with us and we'll, we'll post some more content on this uh, subject. Thanks. Bye.